Next time you travel through Washington, New Hampshire, listen close. You may just hear the beautiful tones of a Steinway piano as played by one of New Hampshire's most unique musicians. Meet Jane Kelly. She's a concert pianist and teacher. You might say she's developed her own style. Then it's trying it again. It's like a car that can't quite start. I have no method, none, that's, that I can describe other than I don't teach any two people the same way. You know, almost think of, I kind of get this being Italian, you know, that Sicilian mother with drama, like, oh! you know, really, really in, in pleading. Sure. So try and give that a little bit more speed there. Maybe you guessed, Jane was born and raised in New York. She took up piano at a young age, but years later, life as a musician took a back seat as her marriage ended, and the concert pianist found herself taking job after job just to survive. Hotel clerk in Jersey, I did, um, I did teach swimming in Princeton. I decorated ice cream cakes at uh, Brookstone in the, in the factory to make extra money <laughs> in, in Peterborough. And I also um, waitressed in a place in Bennington called Petite Maison where I tableside cooked and all that. Eventually, though, she moved to this cabin in Washington, New Hampshire, where she still teaches today. It was here she met a well-known resident in these parts, Yura Shute once a famous Lithuanian pianist. So she called me up and said, um, I hear you, you play piano, you make music, and we got together, and uh, for 13 years, she and I were good friends. Over the years, Yura Shute reignited Jane's passion for playing piano. She made me believe in myself, and she also saw that maybe my kind of personality would be well or welcomed here in New Hampshire. And um, I kind of know that I like living here. And so from there, I um, s just started going to people's houses and teaching piano. Ah, oh, I mean, that's, that's, okay. that's, the, that's the note. So make them all move into that. A Thanks to word of mouth, Jane now has a list of students that's grown to about 50, mostly adults uh -huh. who you want know, to rekindle an old love or learn a new song. So, in adult people, let's face it, they're doing this as an extra thing. So I have to make sure that they're happy. When, and, you know, so I have, I try and just pick the right things, and I have lots of music to do that. Well, let's look at this way. It's funny. It's my cheapest way of getting psychotherapy. They help me through everything in life. And I try and be helpful when I can. But with adults, you wind up having this intimate relationship. Good. Much better. Tom. And uh, okay. all within the last couple of years, I've been frustrated with the fact that I was at one level and not progressing. I'd like to get better at what I'm doing. So um, that's when I happened to run across Jane, who was referred to me. Joe Jacobs sells insurance for a living. The lifelong piano player is hoping Jane will bring him to the next level. The, the great part of what uh, Jane offers in teaching idea. piano that's is that uh, she's able to see voices in music that I hadn't realized okay. were there before. That was actually, I feel like you're racing, you're rushing these eighth notes. Joe, like most of Jane's students, gets plenty of enthusiasm to feed off of. Wait, ah, ah, did you like that? Oh my God, yeah. Uh, well, there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of body language, uh, throwing arms around and jumping up and down. Uh, there's a but but it's all positive. And we're all having a good time. Uh, it's all how to do things better. Not to, I don't the, the the ruler doesn't come out and my fingers aren't black and blue when I get done. So so we we do have a good time. Well, this here is um, actually where mo I'd say. 
99.9% of the students that come here have their lesson. Jane actually has three studios to teach out of. This one in Concord is home base and home of two Steinways and literally stacks and stacks of music for her students. Well, <laughs> once again, it's, it's the, the haphazard brain of somebody that does something in the arts. She not only teaches context, here, but does hours of training, sound, preparing for concerts. Or, In some cases, she memorizes more than an hour's worth of notes. It takes hours and hours and hours a day. There's just no, there's no shortcut. Yes, but there are tricks to learning. You can't hear them because these are silent keyboards, a tool to help get the fingering down. That I use to practice when I'm away, like if I go, um, I don't know, on a trip or something and I want to try and keep the music in my head, I'll practice like that. And these are made out of ice cream sticks. <laughs> It is a long way from her days decorating cakes. Jane says she now enjoys sharing her gift of music full time. In fact, she'll likely be playing a stage near you. I have more concerts this year than I think I ever had in my entire life put together. So I hope I can pull it off, but I'm excited about the opportunities that are coming.